Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Digi and today Titan Clockman has finally been added to the game along with the Tri-Titan Soldiers. But before we keep going, shout out today goes to Axel Gaming 915 Thank you for being first, I commenting first. Also, my apologies, it's the Tri-Soldiers, not Tri-Titan Soldiers. It's just, you know, they're the same pretty much. But... We're going to go ahead and get right into it. Titan Clockman. How do we get this awesome new Titan? So, what you're going to want to do is to head over here to the Chief Clockman. Talk to him, and he says, bring me 24 clock spiders so we can revive our Titan. Yes, please. So, what you're going to have to do then is go into the game. And there's actually a bunch of things that requirements first you've got to be in the server this you know whatever server you're in for 10 minutes at least at least 10 minutes no less if you're not in the server for more than 10 minutes and then the clock spider spawns in you can't collect it so you got to make sure you're in the game in the server for 10 minutes then the clock spider will spawn in and he'll spawn in anywhere in the map. So let me go ahead and just, you know, equip and head into the map real quick. So that I can show you. Also, the map has changed. It's bigger and better. So here we go. What was going to happen is the clock spider will spawn in. And it's random. It's never in the same spot. It will be somewhere around the map. So after your 10 minutes, the clock spider, you are able to collect it. Now, the clock spider spawns in every hour. Once every hour. So, if we do the math, you can have Titan Clockman in 24 hours. That's if you do it every hour of the day. So, again, you got to be in the game for, for 10 minutes. It used to be 20. Now, they moved it down to 10. Okay? Then... You gotta wait for the spider, the clock spider, to spawn in within an hour. Then you have two minutes to collect it, okay? The clock spider only lasts for two minutes in the game. I know that does not sound fun, but if you watched my early access video of Titan Clockman, you will see that he is worth it. He is a beast. I mean... He might be one of the strongest titans in the game now. But once you've gotten all 24 of the clock spires, you head back here to Chief Clockman, and then you give him the 24 clock spiders. And that will then allow you to play as the Titan Clockman. Now, Titan Clockman does require the special Titan request item, which you get from the shop over there, okay? And then once you activate it, it will do all the effects, which will then spawn in the Titan Clockman himself. Yo, he is awesome. And again, in like the early access, he is amazing so we got e which is the time stop blaster and then we got r which is the there they are the blades i was trying to remember the, the shirkins sorry and they keep going in and out they do damage they go back and then keep going they do eventually stop and then we got t which is stomp then we got y which is the world time stop and everything is frozen and then it uses your whole bar up but then you can un you can turn it off and on but the bar i believe has to be full in order to use it um let's see what else do we have we got f which is heal which is pretty good i think this is the first titan that can actually heal themselves i could be wrong though um i'm not a hundred percent sure or remember then we got q which is a regen as well yo that was actually kind of fire <laughs> anyways the tri soldiers now 
these are easier in the sense of the quest there is no quest it is time for some gamba time gotcha gamba what do i mean by that so like i earlier you saw it when i went to my inventory you saw these shards just like the villain arc for brown um cameraman is the same way for the tri soldiers okay you've got to go to the gotcha um menu so if you open up here go to gotcha and go to tri soldiers don't do the villain arc because you'll only get the villain arc shards if you go here you want to go to tri soldiers and then gotta do some gamba goo now the most i've seen a shards spawn in are four that's the most i've seen spawn into um the game or into a role whatever you want to call it okay and then once you get enough you should eventually i how many do i have i think i should be getting it after a couple of these hold on <laughs> i know i was like, like 94 or something and now i don't there we go once you get 100 shards you get this cutscene, which is so cool look at that and then you click on the question mark um our wait hold on Okay, no, you don't have to click on it. There we go. So once you got 100 shards, you will then unlock the Tri-Soldier, okay? Let's go ahead and ready up and equip. And this one does not require you to use any um, special Titan requests. If you press T, you switch over to TV screen. And then if you do any other attacks, it changes you back. Only attack right now that the TV has seems to be um the y and then the um uh, which is the tv screen and then t which is shooting if you press any other attacks it changes you back into the camera head version which is all melee close range um that one has so this is the r which is the fling and then we got e which is the sound wave and that is pretty much it yeah so oh okay i just pressed y so if you press any of the tv abilities it changes them immediately back ah interesting that's very cool okay i did not realize that anyways though that is all for today thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed then go ahead and leave a like subscribe down below and join the badge hunting squad today you start code Digi whenever you buy Robux or Premium. And as always, stay awesome, stay cool. Go love badge hunting. Bye bye.